Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Lifter LMS assignments and how you can use it on your Lifter LMS website to give students assignments in courses for uploading essays and task lists that they can complete. So always the first step with any Lifter LMS add-on is making sure your license key is installed. We have another video on how to install your license key with the Lifter LMS helper plugin. So be sure to check that out if you don't already have your license key entered. But once you're ready to go, you have your license key for assignments entered, you are ready to go. So under Lifter LMS, add-ons and more, we will see this screen here. I'm gonna go to assignments, install, apply. So we're just installing the plugin right now and getting it set up so that we can add some assignments into uh, my courses. So I installed assignments. I now want to click activate, apply. Awesome. So now it's installed and activated for me. We can see that there it's licensed. Everything's good to go. So now that it's installed and activated, I can head into my courses and add some assignments. So let me go to courses and I'll use my quick start course here as an example. We'll add a few assignments in here. Let me open this up in a new tab so we can view the course and at the same time put some assignments on it. So I'm gonna to go to Courses Builder on my specific course, expand all so I can see all my lessons in here. And now that Assignments is installed and activated, I'll have this option here, Add an Assignment. So let me click on that. I'm gonna say Create New Assignment or if I already had one created, I wanted to clone it right here. I can do that as well. Just pull it in a copy of another one I already have. But I don't have any created yet, so I'm gonna click Create New Assignment. And here's where we select the type of assignment. Is it gonna be a task list, an essay, or an upload? Let's see what they all look like. So I'm gonna add a task list here. We'll just add a few tasks here. Let's say my course is um, maybe a cooking course. So we will say maybe prepare, prepare the kitchen. Um, grab the, the tools you need for the recipe. And um, get ready to, like, I guess we'll just say, like, are you ready to make some great food? Perfect. So now I have my task list created here. We'll want to make sure it's published up here in the top right hand corner. That's so students can see it. Um, of course, as an admin, I can see it, but we wanna make sure students can as well. So now let me go into my course here. What is Lifter LMS lesson one? We now have this start assignment button here that's gonna replace the mark complete button. Uh, so instead of clicking mark complete, it's gonna take me automatically into my task list assignment here where I can check all my boxes and submit my assignment. Perfect. So that's what the task list looks like. And of course, how can an admin or an instructor see students' assignments? So under Lifter LMS reporting, that's where an admin could come in here, go to assignments and see the uh, assignment I just created. What is Lifter LMS assignment? It's titling it the name of the lesson so I know which one it is. I can see submissions, click on this one, and I can see the submissions there. And of course, as a uh, an admin, I can leave a review for them and says, great job. And I could leave some remarks for them. And of course, there's a grading component with it um, if you wanted to work with that as well. So now the uh, student here will see the great job remarks there from the instructor. So let's take a look at the other assignment types. So we are looking at the task list. Let me throw that one in the trash and we'll make another assignment over here. We'll try out the essay assignment type. And so, of course, there's passing percentage if you wanted to get into that grading. If you're not really doing grading, passing percentage could just be zero. But if you wanted to do some grading and points and all that kind of stuff, you could here as well. Uh, if you have a grade for your course or something like that. So with essay saved and published, I can view my lesson here. And I have start assignment and we'll see the essay assignment type. And of course, I can set a, um, a minimum word count and maximum word count if I wanted to do that. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna submit my assignment. And of course, it's gonna be pending grading because now an admin would need to come in here under Lifter LMS reporting, assignments, submissions, and they would need to grade my essay. Start a review. 
Great job. 100%. And then the student would be able to see their grade and move on, see their remarks. So that's the essay assignment type. Let's take a look at the last assignment type. Create new assignment. Upload. So this is where you can have students upload a file, and it'll work the same way as an essay, where when they upload maybe an image file, uh, the instructor could grade that, give them remarks, and the student can see it. So let's take a look at that. Start assignment, select or drop a file. So now I can upload my photo right here, for example. And one thing to note is that you can restrict the file types. If you're only going to allow students to upload PDFs or you only want to allow them to upload images, you could restrict the file type as well. So now I'm just going to submit my assignment. And just like the essay assignment type, the instructor would go to reporting assignments and we can see the assignment here, submissions, and I can see the photo as the instructor. I can start a review, great photo, and then give them a grade. And then the student would be able to see that feedback right here on their assignment. So yeah, that's an overview of how the Lifter LMS assignments works on both the front end, the back end, and the reporting side of things. Feel free to let us know if you have any other questions about Lifter LMS or Lifter LMS extensions in general.